Hello, hello, it's Julie Davison from juliedavison.com. Welcome to my 12 Days of Christmas series, Day 3. Oh, let's see, share this video with... Um, say hi when you jump on. <laughs> a little distracted today, so sorry. Say hi when you jump on. Give me a like or a heart if you can hear me okay. I'm so glad you're joining me today. This is day three of 12 days of Christmas, and each day from December 1st through the 12th, I am sharing a new project featuring one of the gifts that I put in my 12 days of Christmas gift box. So hopefully everyone who ordered a gift box has received their gifts. If you have not opened day three, then you may wish to wait before you watch the video today because I'm totally going to give away what the, <laughs> what the gift was. Um, and if you, um, if you didn't get the 12 days of Christmas back, that's okay because I'm showing you all kinds of things that you can order in my online store at juliedavison.com slash shop. So you can, um, you can buy all the things that I'm showing and you can make and do all these things at home. So today I've got a fun project to share with you. We're using that shimmer paint that we used yesterday. Did you see that video? Yesterday I showed you some different ways to use the shimmer paint. We painted it on the tree. We sponge daubered it onto the cardstock and then then we also stamped the snowflakes in it. So some fun ways to use the shimmer paint. Today we're going to use the shimmer paint with alcohol and create spritzers. So these are our Stampin' Spritzers. They come in a package of two. You can see one of them is blue because I added a little bit of reinker to this spritzer. So I use the Knight of Navy inker to make this um, blue and you'll you'll see why in a little bit but the um there's not really a formula that I used I just put a little bit of the paint inside the spritzer and then I mixed it up with um the rest of the container I filled with alcohol. So this is rubbing alcohol and I read somewhere that 70% is the best um, rubbing alcohol to use for this because the, um, the paint stays or mixes well with the alcohol. So if you use something higher, you might not get the same results. So 70% isopropyl alcohol um, and the shimmer paint, that's what's in here. And then this one that's blue, I added just three or four drops of the Knight of Navy um, reinker. So the card I want to make today, we're going to use some of these stencils. These are the basic pattern decorative masks, and it comes with it comes with four, I believe, four different masks. And so we've got some different shapes here, some polka dots, some damask. Today I'm going to use the trees because I thought this would make a really pretty winter card. So I'm going to put the other ones away. You can use these. Um, in some different ways and I think I'll have to show you, I'll have to do another video where I show you some other ways to use the decorative masks. But today we're gonna use this one, we're gonna use the spritzer that has the alcohol and the shimmer paint in it. So you definitely wanna get something to protect your surface. So I'm just gonna grab my scrap paper here um, this is going to make a big mess and you want to make sure that everything around it, including yourself, <laughs> is wearing a uh, protective whatever <laughs> so that you don't you don't make a mess. So we're going to use a piece of balmy blue cardstock and I'm going to place the, um, the stencil right over it. Now, um, the first time I did, I used just the plain shimmer paint and alcohol and this is the result that I got. Um, so you could see it a little bit, some shimmer trees, but I felt like it wasn't um, noticeable enough. So I wanted to make it a little more noticeable. So that's why I added the um, the Knight of Navy. So let's take a look and see how that's going to look. Here's the little spray nozzle. It's just like a little mini spray bottle. So you want to make sure that that spray nozzle is pointed down just going to give it a little wipe off really quick. You want to make sure that it's pointed down away, away from you. You don't want to spray yourself. And then you're just going to um, just spritz. So I just keep moving. You want to, um, I, I like to just move quickly through the whole thing. And then I'm going to move that out of the way. Oh, the, it's very messy. So um, Let's see, I'm just going to blot this for now, but earlier I just took it over to the bathroom and I just ran it right under the sink. Um, so I'm going to clean that off a little bit better after, right after the video, but um, 
just rinse that off and dry it. So here is the result. And um, the alcohol I like to use in the spritzer more than the um, than water because it dries pretty quickly. So this is still a little bit wet. Let me show you the finished dry look. So this one you can see a lot better than without the reinker. So this is really subtle. You can see it when I shine it in the light. Um, but this one definitely uh, has a really pretty blue shimmer trees. So to finish off this card, we're going to add a, um, a stamped sentiment. So I've got this piece die cut from um, In Good Taste labels, Tasteful Labels. In Good Taste is the stamp set. We're going to use Balmy Blue and Misty Moonlight. Here's the cat, let me cap that. Um, so I'm going to do Misty Moonlight for the sentiment. I'm using stamps from the Snowflake Wishes stamp set. This is a really pretty one for winter and not just for Christmas. Like you're going to be able to use this one all, all winter, all season long. So I've got the sentiment in Misty Moonlight and then I'm going to add in Balmy Blue some snowflakes. And I'm going to put that behind a two and a quarter inch circle just to do a little bit, a little pop of color back here like that. Okay, so if we are going to put this on a card, I feel like that's really, really subtle. So I like the, the blue trees better. What do you think? Blue trees or white trees? And then I have to decide, do we want to put it on a Misty Moonlight card base or where did my other one go? The other one I was thinking about was Balmy Blue. I thought I had a card ready to go. Where's Catlin? Ba -da 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 -ba. I always score first and then cut it in half for two card bases. Okay, so let's see. You guys are saying blue. Yes, blue trees. Okay, definitely the blue trees. So now do we like it on the dark card base or it's kind of like subtle, I think, to do it on the light card base. So this is Misty Moonlight or Balmy Blue. Um... What die set is this in? It's from Tasteful Labels, Wendy. Tasteful Label dies from the annual catalog. Um, so we're going to add a little bit of ribbon, which brings in the sparkle. That'll go behind here. And then um, I think we need some bling. What do you guys think? Oh, Carol's saying use the light one inside, but maybe the dark card base. I'm seeing a lot of you say dark. Let's see. Mm -hmm. I got a song stuck in my head. I just keep singing today. But I'm going to try not to sing. Um... Okay. Um, a double mat with the dark closest to the trees and then on the light one. That could work. I'm seeing a lot of you say dark, 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 dark. Um, sometimes I feel like, well, I, I'm, I'm not one to layer a lot. So, ooh, oh, uh-oh. What do you think of that? If we cut that off and make a vertical card... Oh my, oh my, my. Tell me what you guys think of the vertical layout. Sometimes I'm doing that. I kind of messing around with a card and then I realize that I like something else that I wasn't even intending to do. Gloria, I think you're saying yes to making it a vertical card. You like it that way? Yes, Maria says she likes the vertical. <laughs> um... Where did I snow? Here we go. I got, I love these adhesive backed snowflakes. These are really, really just a, a perfect, um, 
a perfect little something to add. Make it sparkle. Okay, yes, you guys are all digging the vertical. Let's go vertical on this. So I'm gonna go, I'll just go right in the middle. You guys are such good helpers. Thank you so much for helping me make decisions. Sometimes when I make cards, like I just, I spend too much time like waffling between two different things. I'm always calling the kids in here. What do you think of this one? <laughs> what do you think of that one? Oh, I think they get sick of, <laughs> I think they get sick of it. And sometimes I, I do a lot of stamping while Jim's at work, but sometimes I ask Jim too. Oh, that's pretty. So pretty. May your season sparkle. And we have so much sparkle on here between the trees and the ribbon and the little bling. Oh, I've got to wash my desk. I've got splatters up here. You definitely want to make sure that you move all other projects away while you're spritzing because it does make a mess. Oh my goodness. Okay, I wanted to show you some other things I was playing around with. I used, this is the, um, what's it called? Feels Like Frost designer paper. Um, and it's got, let me open it up because this is so pretty. This carried over from last year um, and it sold out last year and wasn't available. So one side we have these silver and white patterns. And then on the other side, we have these beautiful photographic images. And so this is six by six paper, so you can cut it down and make really easy, simple, beautiful cards. So on this one, I stamped the sentiment, may your season sparkle. And then I don't know how well you can see it, but I used the, the shimmer spritz um, without the blue just to kind of give it a little sparkle, but like I can't even see in person the sparkle. So that looks like it didn't really do much. The one thing I did notice though is that it it um it started making the ink run on the sentiment. So I I gave a little try to something else. I wanted to see um I stamped this one. So I did one where I stamped it and then I spritzed it and I did one where I spritzed it and then I stamped it to see if there was a difference and I didn't notice any running. This is the one that I stamped first, so I would have spritzed after. This is the one that would have run, but I don't really see any um, any running there. I feel like they're pretty equivalent. And again, I feel like you can see a little... Where's my camera? <laughs> you can see a little bit of the shimmer, but I either need to add some more paint in there or maybe just um, spray more because I don't really see, I don't really see that. Maybe it's just the lighting, like a little bit of shimmer, but it could use some more. But this really turns out pretty when you use a template. And if you don't have the masks, like the ones that I used, you can, um, create your own mask, right? So you could die cut, like we've got this snowflake um, dies. You could die cut some snowflakes and create your own mask and then spritz it and spritz snowflakes back there. So there's lots of ways that you can use the spritzers in your project making. I hope you enjoyed this idea using the shimmer paint in combination with the stamp and spritzers. Thanks for tuning in today. Be sure to come back tonight because we have our regular Thursday night stamp therapy at 7, 10 p.m. Central Time. And then again tomorrow, we'll be back for our 12 days of Christmas at 12.30 p.m. Central Time. So thanks for tuning in. I hope you're having a great day and I'll catch you soon. Bye.